Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the magic color change action in your Pretty Actions Pure Color Workflow collection. Um, so let's go ahead and scroll down to our brushes here. I'm going to select the magic color change action. And down at the bottom of my actions panel, I'm going to select uh, and press the play button. You'll see a few uh, prompts appear on your screen. I'll press OK. And now I have my uh, color picker and color box uh, automatically appear on my screen here. Uh, so we've got uh, baby boy and mom. Uh, mom had not uh, arrived wanting to get her pictures taken. However, I did convince her to get a few. Um, so if this is a baby girl, I may have changed the wrap to purple, but since he's a boy, I'm going to go ahead and change her shirt color to match his wrap here. So kind of, I'm going to go ahead and use my color picker, which again is automatically uh, brought up through the action. I'm going to pick a nice mid, uh, a, a gray uh, in the, the mid-tone, so not too light, not too dark, uh, and I'm going to press OK. Keep in mind, you can go back later on and change the color after you paint it on if you're finding that it really uh, isn't what you had wanted. Um, okay, so the action has run. I want to make sure I have my brush selected. So over here in the Tools panel, I'm going to right-click. If you don't see it, click on your brush tool. Make sure your brush opacity at the top of your screen here, you'll see you want that to be at 100%. Um, white should be your foreground color. Again, that's automatically selected through the action. Um, and, oops, let me close out of this here. Okay, and I'm just going to start painting uh, the gray onto her shirt so we can have that match the wrap in the image. Okay, and I'm just going to zoom through this here for time purposes. Uh, let me go ahead and grab the brush. I make my brush larger and smaller with the left and right bracket keys. Okay. Now, if you're having trouble um, seeing if you've completely painted over an area, you can press the backslash key. Notice everything in red has not been painted. Everything uh, in color, which is the gray, notice I missed a spot there, um, is what you've already painted. Now, say you make a mistake and you go outside the line, like I did there, that's okay. Bring black to the foreground color and go ahead and just paint over that and that will remove um, what you had just done. Okay, so I'm just about done painting the gray onto her shirt here. And again, I'm just kind of zooming through this. Let me just go over here. Got a little bit more on her left hand side. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. I'm just gonna zoom back out. And let's see. Okay, so now I have the ability to change the color or make her shirt lighter or darker. 
Uh, and what I'm going to do is open the action itself. Now, if you have Photoshop elements, you'll want to scroll to the bottom of your collection and run the open folder PSE action, and that will open the folder for you. Okay, um, so I've got that open. Now, here's the pick new color layer. You can see the little color box that's gray. If you double click on that, you can just click around and pick different tones of gray. You can change the color. And you can see that live. Instead of when you're running the action, you don't see it until you paint it on. So now you can go in and make those adjustments uh, if it's not quite what you had wanted. So I can go back to, I'm kind of in a deep color tone over here. It's nice and bright. So let's bring it back down to a more muted um, color. Uh, you, you can just click around and find uh, the color that works best for you. I'm going to press cancel. I still want the gray. And I'm just going to brighten this up a little bit by clicking on the brighten layer, going up here to opacity, and I can just bring that up. The photo itself is nice and bright and airy, so I want her shirt to really match that. Okay. I can go down to darken and darken the image as well. Not the image, rather, uh, but the, sh the shirt where we had um, used the color change action. So I'm really liking the way that looks. I'm going to go ahead and close my folder. I'm done. I can flatten my image and then move on from here. Uh, also, if you do have the Lux Newborn collection, there's a magic, uh, not a magic, uh, blanket color change action. While this action is not exactly the same, it does work, uh, it's, it has the same uh, layers within it as far as being able to darken, brighten, and pick a new color. So um, you'll be able to utilize this tutorial for that action as well. And that's it. I hope you guys